The Touche Tech drawing board has been designed to be used with a rubber backed drawing board or I should say a rubber surfaced drawing board. It's a drawing board with a, about a 5mm thick uh, sheet of in this case cork rubber. You could use silicone rubber as well. And uh, the first step is to place the paper and preferably fasten it on one end onto the drawing board. It doesn't really need fastening like the other kits but you fasten it on one end and we use the rubber backboard because we have we make extensive use of drawing pins or thumbtacks and uh, these need to go into the, uh, in the, into the rubber surface to hold down the tools. So the first step is to be able to draw lines, tactile lines and for that we have the roulette which is a spur wheel tool. It takes a little getting used to and so you press down and drag the tool over the paper and it produces a positive tactile image. These are the lines that you need to use and feel when you are using the other geometry tool. You do not use the roulette sideways. The wheel, roulette in French roule means wheel and so you got the wheel needs to roll to create a line. So you do not drag it sideways but you let it roll in the direction that you want your line to be drawn. The next tool that I'm going to introduce to you which is the basis and the foundation of a lot of the tools in this kit is the ruler and the ruler is based on the principle of the V groove to locate and to position your stylus or your thumbtack. I'm using a, the a refill to simulate a stylus or a thumbtack because it leaves the tip clear for me for you to see. So there are, there are two edges to the ruler. One is got a coarse set of tactile markings which are basically grooves in which the stylus would locate itself. It wouldn't jump out of the groove unlike uh, a traditional a traditional ruler would have it a positive race but you could never align your stylus with the groove uh, because your stylus would fall off the edge whereas a V groove the stylus drops into the groove and it goes to the lowest point of the groove which is the center of the groove and so it, it serves to accurately locate your stylus without chances of it slipping out of the groove. So that's it. So we have a coarse set of grooves here on one side and a fine set of grooves on the other side and you can hear the stylus jumping from groove to groove. They are placed at in this case at 10 millimeters apart the larger grooves which have a teardrop ending which serves to easily locate the end of the stylus and smaller set of grooves between the large grooves which are spaced at 5 millimeters apart on the coarse setting and the same is repeated at 2.5 millimeters apart on the fine grooves which is are used mainly for measurements precise more precise measurements the the principle of how the grooves work is you would align from the zeroth position you would align your stylus to whatever measurement you want by either feeling the stylus jump from groove to groove like you start with a 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and then you would slide your stylus off the edge of the groove onto the paper. In this case we'd, we'd use pins actually to do it. So we'd start with the 0th position, drop a pin, push pin over there and then slide 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, slide off the edge. So we've got 5 centimeters marked over there. If you want 45, you'd go back by 5 millimeters. Or if you want 55, you'd go forward by 5 millimeters. But the large teardrop ended grooves serve to locate your measuring indicia. You can also fasten the, the ruler to the page by using thumb tacks. There are little holes placed at 10 millimeter intervals from the beginning to the end of the ruler so you've got you've got them and you can fasten your ruler to the to the drawing sheet or the drawing board and that's how you would. so the ruler with the roulette you helps you draw straight lines and measure them and we'll see how we use these measurements in the next 
video. So the same principle again for the fine set of grooves. 2.5 millimeters apart, 10 millimeters for the bit. If you could learn how to use the tip of your finger as a, as a guide so that the, the tip of the, the, the push pin jumps, you, you don't use it at the edge, but you use it where you can actually feel the, the tip of the pin jumping from groove to groove. So that way you can count how many you'd like to jump. You also have tactile markings at every 10 millimeters to help you easily locate a groove if you are interested in feeling and locating. You can still do that. Locate the groove and then slide the pin off the edge to where you want your measurements to be. So you have tactile markings as well as the grooves themselves which serve as locators for the thumbtacks or pins of the stylus.